So, uh, let's, so you brought a very distinct visual style to paranormal activity, or you could even call anti-style because you're letting the style be dictated by the characters in a way. And it looks like some of that style continues in this. So I'm curious, tell us a little bit about the style of the river and kind of using uh, you know, found footage and first person camera uh, for TV, which seems you know, unconventional. Yeah, and, and, and you, know, you really got to head into to ABC who agreed to let us do this, you know, I think probably for the first time on, on network television right. on a very ambitious and expensive project. But uh, you know, we wanted to make sure that it does have kind of like the, the documentary feel for it, so it feels very raw and authentic and, and uh, people can perhaps uh, connect better with the characters and the action. But at the same time, we didn't want to offend the TV audience. We didn't want to you know, uh, create shaky cam. We didn't want to uh, do anything that's too disturbing to them. Uh, but uh, we actually made our lives easier because we have lots of stationary cameras through which a lot of the action takes place. And the camera crew who films everything, they're professional cameramen. Uh, you know, we're not saying this is like home video that someone just picked up a video camera and is running around their house. So everything that is shot is shot uh, by professional cameramen using you know, professional equipment. So everything looks you know, a a as beautiful as a, you know, an expensive movie, but we still have kind of like the aesthetic of uh, fun footage. A, a lot of it has to do with the acting, the, the way the camera operates, for example, the cameraman is not supposed to know who's going to say the next line. So they can't anticipate the action. They mm. have to kind of discover it. So a lot of these little tricks makes it feel like, you know, it's more authentic. In the moment. Exactly.